Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first sit down video at my new house. <laughs> I'm currently sat in my living room and this is probably one of the places that you don't see so much of in my vlogs. Um, if you aren't watching my vlogs, please do check them out. They're probably my favourite videos at the moment to film. It's why I haven't really been doing a lot of style videos because I enjoy vlogging so, so much that I'll film one and I'll be like, yeah, I'm just gonna put a vlog up today. <laughs> so I'll link to my vlog playlist of 2018 in the description box below so you can go and check those out. But as I was saying, this is one of those rooms I don't really show that much of. Um, hopefully I will show more of it in um, future vlogs. But um, it's kind of somewhere that we keep for like special occasions. Like when my grandma comes around, this is where we have a coffee and a sit down and a catch up and it is just lovely. Um, but I thought it'd be quite a nice area to just kind of start off doing my videos. I'm hoping to have a few different filming locations throughout the house that I can choose to use whenever I want. There's accessories, clothing, and jewelry in this haul, so there should be quite a few bases covered there, so let's get into it. So first up are my new pink Gucci loafers, and you may have already seen these in some vlogs knocking about on my channel, um, but I haven't really sat down and spoke about them in too much depth. I got these in a size five, and this is the pink version. I have also ordered them in the black as well. They've actually just arrived. They interrupted me filming. I am obsessed with these shoes. like. They are so comfortable. I got the collapsed back ones and oh my goodness, these shoes are the most comfortable shoes I think I've ever had. And for flat shoes, they are so, so flattering. I have a real problem with wearing flat shoes on a daily basis. Sometimes I can feel dumpy. I can feel um, just not my greatest. I really feel like I stand taller and I feel a lot better in heels or even just a small heel. It doesn't have to be too much, but in flats generally, I, I don't feel my best. But these are so flattering on your legs. They are so elongating and um, they don't give you that sense of feeling, feeling like dumpy, basically. I don't know if you guys are like me in the sense that you prefer wearing heels to flats. If you are one of those people, I would definitely suggest giving these a try because they just don't make me feel that way and I actually wore these out for breakfast the other day and I went shopping in them and usually halfway through the day I'm like I wish I, I wish I'd worn heels but I wasn't like that. I got these ones from Louisa Via Roma and um, I'm not sure if they have too many sizes left in this colour but I'll link some other styles and I'll see if I can find this in stock elsewhere and pop it in the description box down below for you. Now next up is something that I've not really spoken about too much on my channel because it's quite strange. I tend to wear a lot of the same jewellery all of the time and um, it'll just be sort of like a new addition here and there. But then over the last few weeks, I've actually had quite a few new additions. I did a huge Astrid and Mew order and I'm actually working with them on this video to show you how to style some of their bits up. And you've probably seen me wearing lots of their stuff for the last month or so, probably nearly, no, it must be two months now. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my ear styling and also the other bits that I've been wearing um, and incorporating it into my existing jewelry. For me, it's not about just wearing like one style of jewelry. It's about wearing jewellery that you wear and wear and wear. I've never really been into costume jewellery. I'm not responsible to take something off before I shower and then it just gets ruined and it just doesn't work for, for me personally. I like to wear my jewellery, I wear it to bed, I wear it in the shower and I like it to still look beautiful. You'll also know that I am heavily into diamonds and not like the biggest diamonds in the world either. I actually like quite delicate diamonds. And this is something that Astrid and Mew have recently incorporated into their new basics collection. And I made a massive order of studs. So I actually ordered three studs and I put two in um, some of my new piercings that you would have seen. So I've got those either side and then I've also got a new one in my top ear. So this um, piercing at the top, I've got a new much smaller hoop here and then I've also got this faux cuff in now these are sterling silver I don't know if you remember I used to wear their old cuffs um, this one is actually a sterling silver one I actually wanted my conch pierced and the reason I didn't get it pierced is because they told me I couldn't wear a hoop in it all the time because it pulls and it's just not really practical and I was like I'm not gonna go through all of the pain because apparently it is extremely painful like the worst piercing in your ears I thought I'm not gonna go through all of that to not even be able to wear a hoop in it so I just decided to opt for this cuff and the great thing about these is you can stack them they come in rose gold and gold so you can mix metals because I tend to mix 
um, rose gold and silver. So these two studs are actually, um, one is rose gold and one is silver. And then on this ear, same again. And then I've got some silver hardware as well. This is the newest addition at the top. This is a sterling silver hoop and it's got one single diamond in it. This one is so much smaller and tighter and just looks so much better. But the main thing about Astrid and Mew's basics collection is it's fine jewelry and they're using diamonds. So it's good quality jewelry, but isn't eye-wateringly expensive. So I'll pop all of the links to um, my earrings and all of the sort of styles that I've gone for with these particular studs. I would actually have three studs, but I used to have flesh tunnels and um, the holes are too big, so I lose my studs through them. So I've actually got another pair of studs here that I wanted to put in my ears because I just wanted three delicate diamonds at the bottom here, um, but I can't put them in because I used to have flesh tunnels, which is so annoying. I also have some more of the um, cuffs. So I have some rose gold and silver ones so that you can stack these up and um, make them into sort of like a rose gold mix or you can have them all silver and you can literally fit so many on and they are comfortable to wear as well. They don't hurt my ears when I sleep or anything like that. There's a few other items that I wear from the collection as well. And one of the most notable is probably my necklaces. You would have seen these on my Instagram stories and on my vlogs as well. I thought that was a little bit too uncool to stack my necklaces. I just didn't know how girls got it right. How did you know that it was gonna go with that necklace and blah, blah, blah. So basically they do their entire range of necklaces in all the different hardwares. And so I was able to pick up necklaces that suited what I already have. So I currently have this one, which I've spoken about before. This has a um, open circle in it. And for me, that's a really big um, symbol of karma and like what goes around comes around. And I've always wanted a necklace like this. So this is a rose gold version. I also have it in silver, but I also wear it with my wedding necklace necklace um, if I have like open tops especially in springtime it's going to sit really nicely and then I've also got the disc pendant which is the longer one I wear it slightly shorter just because of um, like I don't like things sitting too far between my boobs I don't have the really nice like boy chest but for me this has made stacking necklaces so much easier so I've gone with silver um, rose gold and then silver again and that mixes in really well with all of my bracelets and my earrings and doesn't make me feel too like monochrome. <laughs> I will link all of these necklaces in the description box below as well and I'll also link you to the page where like they have all of the different sterling silver necklaces so if you wanted to pick things to suit your style maybe you wear silver and gold maybe you just wear rose gold and um, you'll be able to find all of them down there. So that's kind of like my jewellery a little bit more explained and hopefully that makes it a bit clearer because I always get so many questions about my jewellery as well. Next up I did an order from net porte and this is an Amelia Wickstead jumper. I thought this was such a cute pink cable knit jumper for spring. This is gonna look so nice with um, sort of distressed denim. It's such a nice lightweight fabric as well. It's not too heavy. You know how I feel about crew neck jumpers. I tend to just wear soft crew neck jumpers all day long. I haven't worn this yet because the weather has been miserable and today is no exception. It is miserable out there. Um, I'm hoping in the next few months it's gonna get nicer so I can start wearing this stuff. I picked this up in a size small and the shade is peony and I will link this down below as well. But um, this is just kind of slouch and effortless. Um, it's just one of those things that you can kind of throw on uh, with a pair of jeans and some Gucci loafers, which actually perfect. <laughs> Next up we have a pair of jeans and these are redone Levi's. Now I have seen girls wearing redone Levi's for such a long time and I've never ever been able to find a pair that like speaks to me. And then Lorna, Lorna Lux, I'm not sure if you're following her, but if not, I will link her in the description box. She mentioned a pair of jeans on her Instagram story. And I'm always the kind of person that likes to give credit where credit is due. And if someone has influenced a purchase of mine, then I'm gonna damn well tell you about it. And Lorna definitely um, influenced this purchase. She told me that they take a dress size off, but that's the kind of thing that I worry about with these more looser fitting jeans is that they're gonna kind of make me look bigger than I am and so um, that was music to my ears. I wanted a more slouchy fitting denim for a while and I haven't been at, and I haven't been able to find a style that actually works for me. I still technically haven't. When I bought these I bought the I think it was the it says size six on um, Louisa Vioroma which is where I ordered them from. So I was thinking that that was like a 24 waist or something like that. So they might have been a little bit big. Um, it turns out it's like a 26 waist, I believe. So they were massive on me. And little did I know that these jeans are like gold dust. 
Um, so I couldn't find another pair in them. So my only option was to take them and have them altered. I've had them altered. They're still too big. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and have them altered again. I did kind of feel like they hadn't pinned them quite tight enough when I had them done. But I think I'm gonna go back and see the lady that tailors all of Ali's stuff. But basically these are straight legged, cropped denim so they're super flattering on your ankle and they just um really sort of elongate your legs but they're not super tight so they're a little bit more relaxed they're also a rigid denim which is something that i don't usually go for um, but hopefully when i get them to fit me right i will be happy with them because i did get lots of compliments when i popped them on on my instagram story as well so yeah we're not quite there yet but i'm hoping that one more trip to the tailors and um it'll all be sorted so I will link these on Louisa Viaroma down below. Next up, we have an item that you won't have seen on my channel yet, and you probably won't see again, unfortunately. This is a Rixo dress that I bought from net a when I ordered my Amelia Wickstead um, jumper. This was supposed to be a potential outfit for my event in Dublin at Brown Thomas. Unfortunately, that got postponed. It's happening in a week or so, I think. Um, and this looked phenomenal on the model. And um, it says it comes up small and it's supposed to be tight fitted. This is probably one of the most unflattering dresses I've ever worn. Um, it's all baggy around the, the chest area, which is kind of to be expected because it is open back, but there's just so much unnecessary fabric on the arms around the waist as well for something that like I was expecting to be quite tight fitted because it supposedly came up small. It just really, Oh, I was just really annoyed because I actually really like the fabric. It's this black fabric with green and white and then little touches of lilac in it. And it's got sort of a slip and it just looked amazing on the model. And I was like, yes, that is a potential dress. And it just really did not look like that on me, which is so unfortunate. You'll see from the cutaways what I mean. I did get this in, what size did I get this in? This was an extra small. Um, but yeah, I think I will probably be sending this back. It's just too much to do to make it right that um, I just need to admit defeat on this one. <laughs> then we have another pair of shoes. These, oh, there's a lot of pink in this haul, I've just realized. These are the Manolo Blahnik Maysail shoes and I lost my mind over these when I saw them. I ordered these directly from the Manolo Blahnik website and um, I actually had to send a pair back because I, for some reason I got the wrong size. I didn't really know what happened there, but they sorted it out. They were great. They did it so quickly because we were moving at the time as well. So I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? So they were really, really good on that. But these are actually a kitten heel. I can imagine that there are going to be some fairly vocal opinions about kitten heels. Um, and actually, I'm not that adverse to them. I mean, usually it's more of a block heel that I go for, but in summertime, these shoes are gonna be so cute and just having that little elevation is gonna be nice. Um, they don't feel like dated kitten heels. They feel um, very wearable and just very modern. So I obviously bought them in another pair. <laughs> but I bought them in a slightly bigger heel. I got these in the red and I will show you those quickly now as well. And as you can see, they have a slightly higher heel. So these are a little bit less of a kitten heel. <laughs> But um, whenever I wear them, I get so many compliments, especially on my Instagram. I do really like them and they are comfortable, but they're just a little bit awkward to wear and walk in. Um, I think it's probably because there's no strap holding them on. So I probably wouldn't necessarily wear these on a day where I have to do a lot of walking, but I am actually yet to wear them out and about because the weather's been so rubbish. So I may report back on that. You'll probably hear about it in my vlogs, but I just wanted to show you these. I'll probably wear these a lot with like denim and white tops. Um, that's kind of a style that I really like. So I wanted to show you both of these colors. And then finally, I have an item that everyone kind of gravitates to when they see it hanging in my dressing room. This is self-portrait and it is so nice to see self-portrait doing something different with their styles. The laser cutout I loved, but it's just really nice to see them do something different. And this print is beautiful. In fact, I really want to see more prints. If they've come up with something as beautiful and intricate as this, I would love, love, love to see more. This is quite an oversized maxi dress. Um, it's literally to the floor and it falls along the floor. Maybe that's because I'm like smaller than most people, but um, it is quite long. I intended, again, this was like a potential for my island meetup that I think maybe two 
it might be a little bit too spring um, so I have actually ordered something which has just arrived it'll be in one of my vlogs coming up so I thought it'd be a little bit too long-winded to pop it in this one so you'll see that one coming um, but this is something that I will wear when we travel I've got lots of trips coming up I'm going to Australia and um, I'm really excited for that because I've never been so um, and I know that I have a huge audience in Australia as well so that's really exciting but I really like this dress it is loose fitting so it's not like the most figure hugging and flattering but it's really comfortable to wear and and it's one of those items that whether you're going on holiday or whether you're here in England that you'll still be able to wear it so even though this is a uh, quite an expensive and quite a statement dress I do think you'll get the wear out of this in England as well um, because we do have quite a nice summer I do think so so um, I just wanted to show you that one as well quickly but look it's just so beautiful <laughs> So that is it for my first haul here in the new house. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you have been enjoying my videos since I've been here. Oh God, that made my throat go funny then. I, I like I don't feel like I can express how much happier I am here creating content and um, I hope that that's coming across in my videos and everything that I'm doing because um, I don't think I felt this happy for a long time so yeah I, I just hope that you're enjoying everything as much as I am enjoying doing them and also if there's any particular videos that you would like me to film for this channel let me know in the comments below I love hearing your ideas and um, your feedback on things so do let me know I do have my new series that I spoke about a few months ago coming soon I'm just kind of like finalizing everything with it and how I want it to um, come across but yeah I'm really excited so yeah everything in this video will be linked in the description box below so if you did want to pick any of the items up I will have linked it all down there um, let me know what your favorite item from this haul was and um, hopefully I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye